Ladies and gentlemen, Kia Kim here. Welcome to the daily update. Hope you guys had a good day trading today. Market is down about 0.8% there. On the SP NASA 0.5%, semiconductor 0.7%. Green Dow Russell 2000 Transport Banks. Uh, biotech, healthcare, home builders, utility, retail, all these guys are red today. Looks like energy is flat and emerging market is slightly green there. Bitcoin up, dollar or gold silver miners are uh, slightly up as well. Dollar flat oil up, treasure bond down, VIX is down a little bit. Let's do this. Yeah. Spider! 65 minutes are here. So this is where we closed yesterday. It looks like we actually saw a continuation on the first hour. But then again, that level right here from a couple days ago, we're not able to get above that 372 resistance. Through that doji right on that level, came back down here on the third hour, fourth hour, fifth hour, sixth hour. Ever since then, it's been deteriorating all throughout the day today and with that price actually we're back below the micro term back below the slightly below short term uh, and the mid term and looks like um you know the price is aware of that 364 vicinity as you can see this is a gap up area that happened on october 17 and this is important level for both bulls and bears obviously if you're a buyer here you're looking for higher prices 364 357 this gap must be sustained and protected and that's not what the bears want to hear bears want to make sure to fill that up gap and to completely neutralize whatever the buyers have built in the last few weeks here right and so this is this is going this this is why i think um you know last couple of days we're moving sideways right here uh trying to figure out uh you know if there's gonna be any buyers in this vicinity to prop the market back up above 372 or are the buyers who bought in any of these vicinity here are they gonna bail right letting the price come back down fill this down up gap and uh you know making potentially new lows below 350 check out that oscillator so as you can see uh the oscillator is um flaming out here uh right here after throwing that bearish divergence which we talked about yesterday and with that you know you can see oscillator is not completely rolling over flattening out a little bit and I think the price and the oscillator is aware that this 364 level of support is going to be crucial going into tomorrow, remainder of this week, and early next week. Should there be a, some sort of price pop, right? And this oscillator is likely to uh, cross right back up. And that's what, you know, the buyers are desperately seeking. You cannot afford to have this oscillator coming all the way to the bottom of this band especially the fact that we do have that bearish divergence in the picture by the time if this thing comes back down and if the bears feel the entirety of that up gap there's nothing bulls can work on there's no support there's gonna be no uh weapons that bulls can you know try against the bears this gap right here at 364 is gonna be that only hope for the bulls to protect it otherwise you will see bloodbath in this market i'm gonna come back for you we'll reassess the situation injury evening and go train tomorrow